Hello again. Plenty of fine weather around across the UK over the next couple of days, actually. Sunny spells in many areas, but it's not completely dry. There are a few showers around as well. Main thing, I think, the wind's lighter today compared to yesterday, so it feels just a little bit warmer. High pressure is dominating, but sitting to the north of the UK, there is low pressure out in the Atlantic, but that is staying away along with its cloud. But around this area of high pressure, the winds are coming down from the north and then feeding in from the North Sea. So it's these eastern parts of England where we've actually seen lines of showers coming in, one across northeast England, another one across East Anglia, and another one across parts of uh, Kent. Now, those showers will continue to feed in in those areas through the rest of today. And we'll also see a few more perhaps just popping up over the Midlands, maybe more central parts of southern England. But they'll be pretty well scattered. And most of Wales, Scotland, Northern Ireland and much of Western England will be dry and fine. And even in these uh, areas further east where there's the chance of showers, there will still be some sunny spells. There will still be that breeze, though, coming in from the North Sea. So on the coast here, yes, we might reach 13 when the sun's out, but it'll feel colder. Elsewhere, the winds are a bit lighter than they were yesterday, so it feels a bit warmer. We could, in some spots, get up to 15, maybe 16 across some parts of the west where we see some sunshine. But more typically, 12 or 13 covers it. Through the evening, we'll continue to see some showers coming into parts of uh, Kent and then again across parts of uh, Lincolnshire, the likelihood of a few showers through the night. But uh, elsewhere, most places having a dry night and a clear night. Still quite breezy across Kent, uh, East Anglia, but elsewhere the winds will be light and at this, this time of year that will allow it to turn quite cold. These are the temperatures in towns and cities well down into single figures and uh, certainly parts of western Scotland, sheltered glens here could be down to minus two or minus three. And parts of South Wales, South West England, rurally here, we could also get down close to freezing. And there could also be a bit of mist and fog around first thing in the morning. And that, uh, again, this time of year is like to linger through the morning rush hour. But it should clear through the morning. And then, again, for many, it's dry and sunny. But we will again see these areas where we're going to see a few more showers. So, again, parts of Lincolnshire, perhaps the North Midlands maybe heading into North Wales and one or two showers still across parts of uh, Kent. And increasing cloud across northeast Scotland through the day on Friday as well, turning quite grey and feeling quite cold here by the afternoon. But elsewhere, we should again see some decent spells of autumn sunshine. The winds will be pretty light once that mist and fog has gone. It's a, it's a fine day, 11 to 14. Again, one or two spots could get up a degree or so higher than that. The breeze started to pick up in the southwest and the threat of a few more showers coming into parts of uh, South Devon, especially during Friday evening. And we may just see that cloud thickening up in the far northeast for a bit of drizzly rain here too. Still one or two showers coming into parts of Lincolnshire and uh, South Yorkshire also. But for many, we go into the weekend dry. Still the odd shower here and there through the weekend, but by and large, the weekend looking pretty dry for most of us. Some cloud, but some sunny spells. Still a chilly feel, especially in the mornings with some patches of fog and frost. For more details, make sure you keep up to date with the very latest from the Met Office by following us on social media.